So one of the, the original, you know, when Weezer Voice was first launching, the two marquee examples of, of large companies doing um, customer feedback at scale were Starbucks and Dell. And, and out of the Dell forum, uh, idea forum, came the idea of, of selling servers with Linux on them. And out of the Starbucks forum came the idea of doing loyalty cards and things like this. And the reason why I think both those were interesting, especially the Starbucks one, is because it's not a brand you expected to listen to customers. And not because Starbucks is a bad brand, but because it's an offline business. So I think, you know, we have this belief that, you know, in the same way that 10 years ago, if you went to your online newspaper, you would never expect to see comments on the blog, like on every article, right? Like it's, it would be weird, right? You just expect, I read the content and then read more content. Now it's kind of weird if you don't see comments, or right? if I go to you know, the Chronicle, or if I go to any sort of online news source and there aren't comments, it's kind of strange. In the same way, I think we're kind of in this period where it's still kind of unexpected for your bank to want to actually listen to you. And I don't mean bullshit, fill out, fill out a survey, listen to you, but actually listen and try to improve you know, their, their product for you. But I think you know, five, seven years from now, it will be kind of expected that, of course I can give feedback to any business I work with. Um, so between that point, I think there's a market opportunity for, for brands to, you know, kind of do what's unexpected. And I think the, you know, like I said, the best way name recognizable brands like Starbucks have done things to generate customer feedback is they did it. It was so unexpected. We didn't expect Starbucks to say, Hey, we actually want your feedback and then to actually put it in public and actually follow up on it. Um, you know, we worked with, uh, you know, and so one of the, we work with, uh, you know, we work, like I said, primarily with gaming companies, SaaS companies, so on and so forth. But we also work with companies like Sephora and John Deere. John Deere had a great forum where they were asking people that, uh, you know, had like $100,000 tractors, what would you like to see uh, us change about the tractor? And it was a lot of great feedback, which honestly sometimes I didn't understand, but like about the ergonomics of the tractor. And I, you know, their feedback was that, that worked really well. And I think it worked really well because again, it's somewhat unexpected, right? And so I think still, like I said, I think in the future, this will become very commoditized, but right now there's a market opportunity to be the company that listens in your space.